Now that I have my first job, I need a bank account. What kind of bank account are you going to open? There are different types of bank accounts. You can open a checking account. That means I'll have checks to pay bills, right? Yes, and you'll get a debit card you can use too. That's different from a credit card, right? Yes, a debit card takes money directly from your bank account. So what is a savings account? That's a low interest earning account meant for you to save money. So that's not for everyday spending? No, that's to save up for your retirement. I'd like to open a checking account. We would love to have you as our customer. What documents do you need from me? Do you have state-issued identification? Is my driver's license okay? That's perfect. I also need your social security number. Is there a minimum balance requirement? Our basic checking account has a $25 minimum balance per month. I can keep that in my account? I also need proof of address. Can I show you my gas bill? Yes. Now I need you to sign some papers. I would like to order some checks. Since you only have our basic checking account, it will cost you. I don't need that many checks. One box of checks is $15. Can I choose what my checks will look like? Yes, we have many different designs to choose from. I would like kittens on my checks. The kitten checks cost $18 per box. That is a small price to pay for cuteness. We can deduct that amount directly from your checking account. How long till I receive my checks? The checks take approximately two weeks to arrive. I'd like to deposit my paycheck. Do you have an account here? I have a checking account. You need to fill out a deposit slip. Where can I find those? There are deposit slips on the tables throughout the branch. What information do I put on the deposit slip? You need to put the name on the account, the account number, and the amount of the deposit. How long till I can access the money? You can access it immediately. Can I only take a deposit with the teller? No, you can also use an ATM or even your cell phone. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Will that be from your checking or savings account? I don't have a savings account. Then it will be from your checking account. I'd like to take out $200. Do you have a withdrawal form? Where can I get one of those? They are located right behind you on the table. What do I need to write on the form? You need to write the name on the account, the account number, and how much you want to take out. Is that all? I also need photo identification. What is this returned check fee on my statement? It means you bounced a check. What does that mean? It means you wrote a check, but you didn't have enough money in your account to cover it. So my landlord never got paid? No, and the bank charged you a fee. So what do I do now? Do you have enough money to pay your rent? I do, but I think I'm going to pay in cash. Your landlord may also charge you a fee for bouncing the check. I need to be more careful about my spending. Bouncing a check ends up costing you more money. I'd like to transfer some money. Between what two accounts would you like to transfer the money? I'd like to transfer $100 from my savings account to my checking account. All right, you just need to fill out this slip of paper. What information do I need to write down? You need to write both account numbers and how much you are transferring. Is the money available immediately? It is. Could you please show me identification? Is there a limit to how many transfers I can make? You can make up to 25 free transfers in a year.
What happens if I want to make more? There is a fee for making more transfers. I would like to cash this check. Did you endorse the check? What does endorse mean? It means you need to sign the back of the check. I will do that right now. Can I have your account number and identification, please? Oh, I don't have an account here. Then there will be a $10 fee to cash the check. Do I have to pay that fee? An alternative would be to open an account here. I already have a checking account at another bank. Then you should cash your check there. I need to stop payment on a check that I wrote. Do you have a copy of the check you wrote? Yes, I was able to get a digital copy online. Why are you stopping payment on this check? I paid my landlord already. So you don't want him to get paid twice? I don't have the money to pay him twice. We can only stop payment if the check hasn't cashed already. Is there a fee to stop the payment? Yes, there is a $10 fee. That's better than paying my rent twice. I suppose it is. Why do I have a negative balance on my checking account? This means you used more money than you actually had in your account. So what do I do now? The negative amount is how much you owe the bank. Am I going to be hit with an extra fee? The bank will charge you a $35 overdraft fee. How long do I have to pay the negative amount back? You should do it as soon as possible or else the bank can charge you more money. What happens if I don't pay it back? The bank can close your account and send the balance to collectors. That's not good for my credit. No, it's not. You better get it taken care of. I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today then. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35 a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. 
Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. Does anyone offer free checking anymore? It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did, but I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? Since I'm not tech savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. The charges you contest will be frozen. I'd like to open another account. That's great. What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So, would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one-time $10 service fee. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low-fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again.